Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and it's time for episode 92 of my question and answer series. There is only one comment, it's not really a question, so I figured I could just go ahead and do this video anyway since I haven't really been doing anything over the past week. I've just been busy with school and other things that have been going on, so hopefully by next Wednesday I should have plenty of time to work on videos and other things for a while. So from Toaster00F05F, I, that might be a hex color code or something. I went ahead and built this PC a week ago, although a little over my $300 budget because I dropped in a 120 gig Kingston HyperX 3K SSD. Those are great SSDs still. Running Windows 8.1 64-bit. I'm very pleased with the results. Boot time is just four seconds. Apps open instantly. Everything just runs great on the Intel G3220 processor. It actually feels even faster than my old first gen i5. Thanks again for the videos on the build. Okay, it is quite a it is a question. I didn't click on the show more button before. I just wanted to ask, should I put in another stick of RAM in it? Some apps such as Chrome does use up quite a bit of memory of the 4 gig memory. I can still watch 1080p movies while browsing the web on two separate monitors without any issues. But should I add another 4 gig to it since the whole world is saying that 8 gig is a sweet spot? I would say that the, that 4 gigs is still the sweet spot for the majority of people, but if you do try to multitask more and just simply do more things, which I guess is what multitasking is, you're definitely going to want to bump up the RAM a little bit. Memory should still be pretty cheap, so adding an extra 4 gigabytes of RAM to basically double what you have is, I would say that's a reasonable thing to do. I mean, you're definitely going to notice a difference when running multiple applications like you are doing, so I would go ahead and do it. And then probably you'll definitely won't have to upgrade anything for quite a while. So that's it with episode 92 of my question and answer series. If you have anything that you'd like me to try and answer, leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.